my brothers and sisters in Members of our families choose to reject God and embrace ungodly lifestyles. The journey of Lent begins on Ash Wednesday, when in word and action we recommit ourselves to better our relationship with our God and with the church He has placed in our care. We listen to His word of encouragement and we place ashes on our foreheads as our acceptance to become again his people. Many people continue to be restless and unhappy, searching in the wrong places for meaning, for satisfaction, for peace in their lives. The Word of God urges, urges us to put on love which binds all together. In this same spirit, the Holy Father, Pope Francis, puts us 
to the power of love in his Lenten message 2021 saying, and I quote, Love is a gift that gives meaning to our lives. It enables us to view those in need as members of our own family, as friends, brothers and sisters, end of quote. How beautiful. Receiving ashes on our foreheads is a holy moment, a blessed moment, because we are moved to decide to change our way of life in order to embrace real life, a life committed to the Lord God. No one is ever forced in the Catholic Church, in our church, to place ashes on their forehead, on our foreheads, or is forced to take up this Lenten journey. This holy moment I call a you and God moment. You desiring a better life for yourself, and God with his open arms of love welcoming you back home. When God, who is all-seeing, saw how the Ninevites had turned from their evil ways, God repented of the punishment he was going to inflict on his people, on them. God sees us too. When we express our desire to be people truly his own. Let us make Lent 2021 be a holy moment. Let it be a holy journey for us. Let it be a true conversion to the one and only life worth living. Let us together start this journey, focus on this social friendship and fraternity that we must live as a family in God. May St. Joseph, the faithful servant of God, the husband of Mary, be our constant guide and protector on this journey. Let us pray with one another. Let us pray for one another as we journey together. And may Almighty God bless us this day and always and throughout this Lenten season, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.